I am back and with some more Assassin's Creed Origins. We're on episode 55. And yeah, it's been uh, quite a while since I last recorded this anyway. Like, it's been all scheduled ahead on YouTube, so there's not much difference when this is up. The schedule is somewhat the same as what I would upload it. Because um, over the past few weeks, I've been focusing on the random full Let's Plays. I've done some. Well, quite a lot of Road 96, Road 96 Mile Zero, uh, Gears of War 3, Gears of War, uh, Ram Shadow. So I've done a load of, well, just focusing on one series at a time with them. Um, and it's been good, but um, I've actually got through all them Let's Plays and it's caught up to this point. Um, so I think over the next couple of weeks I'm going to just focus on these and get ahead again. Um, but I want to just double check my audio. It's actually alright. Because um, it's been really weird. I'll have a check in a while. It's okay in the menu. But um, it's been a bit weird over the past while. Because um, Gears of War 3... Well, it kind of started with um, Doom Eternal, because um, we played through Doom Eternal, and the series was all fine up until the last two episodes, where I had like this audio jutter throughout the whole thing. Um, the quality was fine, the gameplay was fine. It wasn't like what we used to have when I had kind of worse internet, um, but. Uh, and it was all throughout Gears of War 3, um, Gears of War, Rhyme Shadow, it was all throughout that. Um, but it was all fine in um, Road 96 and. Um, what else was it? Road 96, Mile Zero. Did I play anything else? I think, I think it was in uh, Judgment as well, Gears of War Judgment. Um, but. Road 96 was fine, um, and yeah, it was just kind of an annoying thing to appear in a series, um, and I was kind of worried coming back to this. Um, we'll get in the game and see if it appears. Um, actually, did I load into the right one there? I don't think I did. I'm have to load back out. Yeah, this is my <laughs> other character. Shit. Um, but yeah, um, it's been a minute since I've last played anything for well, Assassin's Creed, Saints Row. Um, as I'm streaming this, it's the 15th of May. Um, so it's only been a couple of days since um, State Decay has finally been updated with Update 33, uh, Heart Attack. And. Um, Usually I would be getting into that stuff and uploading it, um, but as of right now we're playing through Saints Row, so Stay the Case is still not going to have, is not going to be on the channel for a while. Um, one, I, I've heard people say it needs, still needs updating and stuff, um, which is fair enough. Um, but that's the one reason, like it gives the game to get some patches through and kind of smoothed out because it is a big update but it's apparently it's all right but yeah i don't want to just stop saint saint row and get into uh, state decay even though i want to obviously but um i think i've done enough on state decay for a bit to deserve a break from it like it's not that i don't want to play it because of course i love state decay but um i think a break from it is good and Having some new stuff on the channel is good. Um, even though I've done a load of random Let's Plays. Like, there's not been not new stuff coming out. Um, but when it's a main Let's Play like these, I can kind of take my time with it a bit more. And I don't want to turn State Decay into a random full Let's Play because I feel like I would be rushing us summer. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I I'll see how it goes throughout. But. Um, I can't remember what we were doing last time. I think this is it, isn't it? Last time we played was the 4th of the 8th, 2023. 
Force of the Eight. Um, March. Yeah, it's been about a month. Um, yeah, it's been over a month since I last played Assassin's Creed. So even like this, since I've been doing random let's plays, coming back to this, it's a bit of a break from these two. Um, but yeah, I'm kind of wanting to get back into this really, and state Saints Row. I'm a bit worried about getting back into Saints Row because, wow, it took me a while to warm up into that Let's Play. And now that I've had a massive break from it, getting back into that, I need to make sure I warm up into it before. Yeah, I can't just give up on it. <laughs> um, but yeah, it should be fine. Um, but yeah, we're going through Assassin's Creed, Saints Row. Um, and then I think we're, we're going to be alternating between Grounded and Bannerlord. Uh, I don't know what this rotation would have. It might be Grounded, this rotation. Um, but I was kind of tempted during... Yeah, I think it's going to be Grounded, but... I was thinking when I was playing through Road 96, perhaps... Maybe, because I'm like 50-50 with Bannerlord and Grounded, even though I want them on the channel. But I, I don't know whether I maybe do too much on it, but I don't know. Um, but I was kind of tempted to just... What if we just focused on this and um, Saints Row? Um, just do the four video... Well, the four video recordings. And just smash through the this game and Saints Row for a bit. Um... Because let's be honest, there's a hell of a lot still to do for St Assassin's Creed. Even though we're kind of. Like, it's 50 50 with this, really. Uh, how many targets have we got? Yeah, we got probably. Probably three more, maybe. Because there's probably hidden ones. Um, and then, ideally, I want to still go throughout the whole map, too. Um. I think there was this region as well. Um, so perhaps once we've done this mission, we'll go into some main story stuff. It'll remind me. Um, I think maybe the last episode was... Wasn't there an attack on... Um, uh, Alexandria? Can't remember. Uh, Alexandria. Just checking the audio. Move now. Clear the way. Seems all right. I know there's a big a bit of an echo there, but I think it's okay. And there doesn't seem to be a stutter, which is what I'm kind of happy with. Um, but yeah, let's get into sto some story stuff and we'll see. Probably get some reminders of what's happening. Um, we're almost max level. But yeah, there's still some. That's why maybe we should just cut Bannerlord and ground it out for a little bit. I know I've only just come back grounded as well. well I don't know. It's really back grounded and Bandalore, they can come back whenever I really want to play it, I guess. But whereas really Assassin's Creed and Saint Tro, there's so much to get through in them games at the minute. Um, I don't want to rush them, but I don't. It might be good to get a bit more on the channel. Sooner rather than later, maybe. But I don't know. Um, maybe we do it from this rotation. Perhaps. I will destroy Cleopatra for what she has done. We must focus on the issue at hand. What is oh, left yeah, like? she's... Tell me one thing left for us. Siwa. The rest of our land. We cannot stop now, Aya. 
We have yet to find Remus killer. Yes. We will not falter there. Guards, ahead! Another pile of bodies will prove our point. Yes. We will not falter there. It has been clear patches for longer than a few days. Ryan has it? Sir. It seems but moments. Aya, it is not easy. This path we walk. Only if you look at it as days and not goals, Bayek. Come, we must hurry. There are guards here. There's something amiss with all this. Something foul. Me bastards. Come on. Shit. No, 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 no. Chain, 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 chain. Oh, come on then. Ah. Roman scum. Right, now. What were we talking about? These are all Romans. Caesar's men. Surely they would not to be seen. Surely they would have way more guards. Oh shit. Apollodorus. We must move quickly. You shouldn't have come here. At least we belong here. Fight. Someone will kill you. Oh, he got murdered. <laughs> Stop your flailing. You will live, fool. Flavius was behind the door. I I'm sorry. Flavius killed your son. They were here. They took the orb from me. They've gone to Siwa. Siwa? Bayek, Aya. Your people are in danger. House of Hades. Sorry, I check. I just checked the audio. Then seems okay. So it's weird. Pop a backtrack. This oh, such a good game. It's so good. I know people would hate a remake of Black Flag, but can you imagine remaking Black Flag with graphics and effects like this? I know it's kind of wrong blueprint, but like visual. Completely silent. The animals too. Uh, some sort of plague has hit the village. That viper Flavius did this. He should have ripped out his entrails long before now. Let us get to the vault. Roman Might be little stutters here and there, but must be Flavius's men. Ain't noticed it. Oh, you ruined your day. You didn't think you'd be caught on fire today, did you? Look here, you think you're in. Oh. <laughs> 
Did he kill your horse? Can you get on? Oh no. Whoa. I'm not leaving money. Whoa. Free gold. What's it? What's the cool? Man, that is the last target. I thought there might have been one near. There better be. That was messing with my OCD. This ain't the last stretch, is it? They won't send us for the last target here. Now this is all scripted, so this has got to happen. But I, sw I don't think this is it, because I swear the last fight is like up here with this guy. But we might have to follow him up there. But ideally, I want to explore a lot of the map before I finish off the story. I want to just not be dying in the middle of the road. Who think who gets the plague in like uh, the might got beaten up? He brought Caesar and the Romans here, hoping to take complete power. <laughs> we trusted him. We were fools. <laughs> Rabia, what happened here? Bayek, I uh, quickly. Hepsiva, the vault. Rabia. We will come back to you when we can. <laughs> oh. Where is it? No, 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 no. Are you just not gonna... <laughs> What was that? <laughs> that, was, that didn't work well, did it? Guards at the gate. Seem to be very guarded. <laughs> I'm not babysitting her. Seems like they want to go guns blazing, but well, all out with this, but stupid. Be an assassin. Be a hidden one. A bit stupid. Oh, 
They're not going to be following us. Bayek, there's trouble ahead. We could do, we could teamwork here, but now I'm doing all the work. Find out what happened. Bye. Are we dreaming? We have entered the door. Who could imagine? Who created this? The gods themselves. <gasps> Here's the story of mankind. Bayek. Bayek. Oh, my Sammy. Your life is done here in the desert dust. They took my closest friend. We must rush to stop Flavius. No! We cannot leave him here. He deserves a proper farewell. I'm with you. Hepsifer knew nothing of the order. There was no cause for him to be killed. Flavius ripped out his heart as a message to me. It was he who killed Chemu. My husband, we will end this. There's no way of finding out more. Guess we could come back down here, maybe. I, can't, I assume they wouldn't waste this location to not come back and have a little look around. Um. I saw what happened. It was horrible. The Roman leaders entered the temple vault. Septimius and Flavius. The objects they carried opened it as if by a god's hand. And so that tried to stop them. But they rendered him helpless. They entered the vault. A blue fire seemed to emerge. I fled to no avail. The entire village lost its reason and fell to the ground like dogs. They have destroyed Siwa! We must die! You must put an end to this! Bayek! Aya! You have the prayers of the entire village to support you! Let us bring Hepsiva to his rest. Then, we will seek justice! If they want to, they could easily turn this into a TV series. Let the embalmers this come. Work. We pray Anubis accept this ornament in place of his heart, such that Hepzibah may walk free in the field of reeds. Hepzibah, old friend. Oh, Hepzibah, I could use your help now, Sini. I 
Animals. Using the necropolis as a den. No wonder it looks like this. <laughs> Grandfather, I have missed you. I only wish you could have known Remu. Where Hemi was. Maybe? No? Why is Aya there? Seva would have wanted you to have this. The weapon he prized above all others. I am honored. How good is that? Fire. Um. Yeah, it's all right. Pretty much on par, ain't they? I can't remember if I upgraded that last time. Yeah, well, it didn't really serve him too well, let's be honest. <laughs> it's a bit horrible, but it's true. Don't know why I'm lighting everything up when I'm putting it up. Oh. oh yeah. Maybe this is where Senu is. But some villagers captured a Roman soldier and questioned him. Flavius is Maybe headed not. for Cyrene and Septimius for Alexandria. I will kill Flavius. Hmm. There's a farm at the border of Cyrene. Someone there may have seen Flavius pass through. As for me. I will cut out the heart of Septimius. I feel as though wherever we go, tragedy follows. Perhaps we should come to terms. It is hard. I don't want to let go, but... Every time I think of you, I think of Hemu and everything we lost. Me too. So for now, we kill. Farewell, I... Aya. I wonder... Have they ever mentioned where... Is it Senu? Not Senu. Uses, um... Kemu, isn't it? Uses, um... Kemu, yeah. Uh, I wonder where they buried him. Is it in Siwa? They ever mentioned it? <laughs> kind of a cool <gasps> moment to see, maybe. Maybe it's somewhere where, um, you know, the tomb where um, Aya is, or Bayak is buried. I think you can even go there. I'm not sure. I think it's up here somewhere. I don't know. It might be up there somewhere. And I think there's an Easter egg. Maybe we go and have a little look. I think Bayek is like, oh yeah, I would like to be buried here or something. And that's where the modern day stuff is at. <coughs> but, um, I think it's around here. But it might not be, because... Oh, if I remember correctly, it's like... It's 
feel like a canyon area. Or is it that cave where... No, it's not the cave where we found them kids at the beginning. Just having a wonder now. Yeah, this is where, like, the end stretches, I think. Lecturers meet. So I'm not sure whether to backtrack a little bit. Um, and, like, maybe we make our way down. I know it's completely off track. Well, we could go do through this route. Why, why don't we go through this region go down to that region actually how's that region? we haven't even got that for some reason some stuff up here oh yeah I think we clipped it hmm so maybe we go up here we could go do this bit uh and then maybe head our way down, or... Oh yeah, maybe head up here, down here, back down here, finish this bit. And maybe we could just start going around this area, because I know that the desert areas, they're not too... packed with stuff anyway. I don't think. I think there's like tombs and stuff, but... It's more about the hallucinations and stuff, I think. But we, yeah, I guess we are getting pretty close. Um, maybe it's up here. We are, like, we are getting close to the end. But ideally, I wanted the last few episodes of... Wow. That's the only thing. Well... When I get into the DLCs and stuff, I'll change the thumbnail, so... Ideally, I want the last few episodes of this to be... Well, kind of brand new. Well, at the end, and then... Start something brand new with the DLCs, but... And I know it's kind of blasphemy, but I'm kind of looking forward to getting into, um... Valhalla now. Because I know that game is really mixed reviews, but I think I'm going to have a lot of fun with it. <laughs> Especially if I like like this Odyssey. Valhalla can't do a whole lot wrong, but... I don't know. I, I know that... I know the criticisms are valid, I think. For these, but... Oh, I think there's room for both, though. Um, geez, I don't see it. So I know it's a cave, but... It might be a completely different region. Shall we YouTube it? Might look it up. Um, Bayek. East of Siwa in the Quattro Depression. Caves serves as a final resting place. Yeah, it's in Siwa. Oh, 
by its promise. Now they're looking at tombs. Very. I don't want to look at fucking pit. Just want an image. They're so coming up with tombs like it's others, but Assassins Creed Origins Modern Day Tomb Location That's not right. One of his videos. What's it, Calvin? Where's Byatt buried? Almost there. Um, up here. Maybe you just go down there and have a little look. Ganders. Because I think there's a bit of like a Easter egg like thing. But yeah, I think I'm going to forget about main story stuff for now. Um, uh, we could always come back to it any time, but I think I'd like to just have a little bit of an exploration. Um, and I am thinking maybe we leave Grounded and Bannerlord and bring it back when I feel like playing it. Because it's always open for them to come back any time because they're just open-ended playthroughs, ain't they, really? But I feel like maybe it would be good to smash through. Stop. Like, it might be good to smash through this Let's Play. But not in a rush way, but like, just to keep it consistent on the channel. Because we alternate between this and Saints Row at the minute. Whoa. And then out of nowhere we have a double, well, pretty much a double bill of Bannerlord. Or Grounded, so it's like... That means that when Bannerlord or Grounded comes around, there's like at least... Uh, at least four... No, two. About four or five days between that and the next ground. Well, well, the next Assassin's Creed or State Decay, depending on what's next. But um, I think I might do it, guys. Um, 
Um, maybe I'll give. I'll do maybe a few rotations, like maybe two or three, like this, and then maybe I'll just bring back Banner Lord. Banner Lord's easy enough to play through. Um, Banner Lord is easy enough to play through. Ground is good. There's an end into that, but honestly, I don't know whether I've just played too much of Grounded. Like we did that massive original playthrough place. Like what? Like it depends on if I'm in the mood as well. Like I don't know. It's like I'm 50/50 with that game. Um, I, when I was when I used to play it in the original series, we were always looking forward to the next update, which probably was never the way. And the way I'm playing it right now is like New Game Plus, which has been good, but it's like. Even if I start a brand new fresh game on that game, it's... I just don't know if I'll, I like it too much. Um, yeah, it might be down there. Whoa. Really? One tap and they get caught on fire, that's pretty good. You're dead. Is it dad? Thank you, dad. No, there's no cage around there. There is a does. What the fuck? Bullshit. Um. It's a desert area, isn't it? Let's go out, go out and look for rocky areas. Hmm. We have a ganders. Sorry, I know. I'm getting there, guys. Might be where them hyenas are. Maybe down there. Hmm. 
He's fighting shit around the cave. No. Problem is, you go on YouTube to see where a fucking location is, but they fill it. They make they make one location for a ten-minute video. I'm like, fuck off. Or maybe down here. even fucking around here. Just show me the map and then I can fucking deal with it myself. Might be in the frickin place I got go to. Apparently, he's down here. <coughs> Which way I'm gonna head anyway? Yeah, it did say quite depression. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it might be there. You just think Bayek would want to be buried in Siwa. I was going to head there anyway. So maybe we just start. I've kind of been fucking about today. But maybe since we ain't played it, well, since I ain't played it in a while, maybe I'll make this a little bit longer. Oh, an hour and a half or so. Yeah, let's just go exploring, you know? Can't go wrong with that. I kind of wish, though, you could change the field of view to be that when you're just riding. Instead of taking, well... Making the game take over. There's like a hit question mark here. Might be this one. Yeah, maybe. Well, it doesn't seem to be a whole lot here anyway. As always, I don't like the UI. I hate the white on yellow. For the sand, I think it so horrible looking. So there's one, well, <laughs> there's one question mark in this whole region. Well, at least there's no filler in this. It's not even a viewpoint. Think about it. So I'll pee out where we're gonna go. Whoa. Just weird by it when I wanna be buried like in the heart of see you are. 
This thing's nice, this weapon. Who are you running to? Oh, got her. Oh, I got you in the knee. Poor guy. Knee captain. Yeah, he should talk about. Liking this location, maybe, but this is where I and I used to hide when we first fell in love. Our love began here. Perhaps it should end here. I got in him to my my well there. What have I gotten myself into? Just when I finally found the treasure of a lifetime, I lost the thing more important than wealth. My way out. <laughs> Stupid. Wow. Maybe I can, should consider using purple items, but it's purple. I'm a bit racist. I, I don't like the purples. Like, the golds are the way to go. Like, what makes purples so special? Nothing. So yeah, that's like a little somewhat Easter egg thing I guess. Even though I hate modern day. Oh, they could put any modern day character into like they could have just made it first person and the main character's mute or something. But yeah, I really don't like uh is it Layla? Like you compare Layla to Desmond and it's like <laughs> How can they can like sure, any modern day characters? It's gonna be hard to beat Desmond, but it's not hard to like make a character enjoyable to watch or like even Cassandra. Like I know people don't really like her too much, but overall, like I don't think Cassandra's that bad. Um. Personally, I think she's probably more enjoyable than some of the Assassin's Creed characters we got. Like, really, like overall, like I want to say there's been a really bad Assassin's character. I'd say, like, when I've ever tried to play Odyssey with, um, who's Cassandra's brother, um. Whoa. Um. Uh, I, f I forgot his name. Who's Cassandra's brother? The alternate character you can play in Odyssey. Like every time I ever try to play him, I like, sure it might be because well, Cassandra was always the first character I ever played. Um, and like replaying the game as another version or the alternate version of that, like it seems weird, especially when they're playing the same somewhat beats. It's like, yeah, it's strange. And the voice act, like the, even though the voice acting's fine, but 
percentage was way more easy to read in scenarios where it's uh, Alexios, that's it. Alexios, he was kind of almost one tone, whereas Cassandra you could somewhat see when she was sarcastic or being angry in a way, but oh, be up. Be up, be up, be up. We're getting some question marks here. It's even a fucking yellow one here. A special. Um, but even then, I don't know if there's been like a really bad Assassin's Creed character. Like Jacob, maybe. But I don't know. Whoa. Like, they could be way worse. We could have had a purpled haired. Oh, I suppose that's what Layla is. We could have had a purpled haired assassin by now. Like, it could get a lot worse, <laughs> I think. Well, you, your main character could be straight from Forspoken or something. <laughs> or, um. What was the recent one? That was really woke and terrible. Was it Forspoken? PlayStation? Like, we ain't had Assassin's Creed character like that yet. If you think about it. At least we haven't had, like. Uh, it's a main character, like. Forspoken's pretty much modern day for Assassin's Creed right now for the RPG games with Layla is pretty much going from like let's like say this it, Assassin's Creed right now is like going from uh, Last of Us 1 nah, that's probably even too high for Assassin's Creed to be fair but um Maybe God of War, say. Does he have a bit of crazy, enough, crazy stuff happening in God of War? God of War. Get a God of War's writing. I'm not writing, but style. They kind of know what they want to push across in what genre it is. And then the modern day is pretty much for spoken in Assassin's Creed. So. Yeah, it's kind of going from a really something really cool and somewhat trying to be cool and entertaining to watch to something really cringy and even trying to be too hard and make a character like better than they actually are. I hate that. This, <laughs> like, if only the people that wrote, uh, they might be the same people, but if the people that wrote this wrote the modern day. It might be a completely different story, but uh, I suppose they have to talk to each other at some point. Osiris was cut into 14 pieces by his jealous brother, who scattered the pieces throughout the land. Osiris' wife, Iset, searched and found all the pieces except one. What happened to the other piece? It was eaten by a fish. It was his... Uh, so Osiris was resurrected and became lord of the underworld. Oh, so we couldn't have children anymore, huh? You are growing up far too quickly. Osiris, the father of gods, brother of Set, who murdered him. It is said that Iset's tears for her beloved husband created denial. Uh, 
I hate some I hate doing these because sometimes I don't say everything until the last second. Is this it? Funny even isn't it? Maybe it is. Wind is picking up. Not good. There you go. Oh, we got suns. Yeah, suns got sandstorms coming. Do with some arrows. Could craft some. Um, I think you can craft them, right? Can you craft arrows in this? I might be being stupid there, but I'm pretty sure you could cross arrows. Oh, this looks cool, this area. Of course, sandstorm's gonna ruin it. Like, fuck off. Oh, Jesus. I saw this video the other day, um, and it was like of Africa in the outback, I think, I don't know what they call it, um, but it was like these hyenas, they were going after like this deer or um, something like that, and it was like in a muddy marsh bit, and this deer was stuck and the hyenas were trying to get at it. Um, and this hippopotamus came through and scared off the um, hyenas. Um, like, the hyenas weren't going to mess with it. And they buggered off. But it was only because the fucking... It looked like the hippopotamus originally was trying to help. 
the um, the deer. I don't know what they would call it. I don't think it was a deer, but something similar. Um, and um, they scared it off. Uh, well, the hippo scared it uh, uh, all the hyenas off, and then decided to eat the um, deer. And it was like, what the fuck? Because <laughs> it was almost like at a moment where like the hippo was like trying to help, which ain't not like it's not normal for a hippo to do that. But yeah, just proper savage like. Wildlife, like we all talk about, like, like protecting wildlife, but honestly, wildlife doesn't give a fuck about us really too much, unless it's like maybe, um, maybe in a zoo or something where it is used to humans. But in the wild, a wild animal ain't gonna give a fuck about your feelings. They'll want to eat you. Like, it's funny when like you look at people like, oh, you shouldn't defend yourself against wild animals when you're out there. What? <laughs> I think that I what, listen to a bo podcast, um, Joe Rogan, Rogan podcast, where this guy survived like a near encounter. Like, he he was close to being fucking eaten alive, but he managed to protect himself and get the kill he needed to survive um, and people criticised him for doing it because he killed a innocent animal which was going to murder him <laughs> it's like at the end of the day if it's you or them it's like when a murderer comes into your house or a, say someone comes into your house and attempts to steal shit or yeah, it's like one of them. That the hippo got. What would this be? It was like that. What's that? Gazelle. That's it. Um. It's not, like in the UK, it's illegal for you to. Well, I think there is a bit of a defence thing. Like if you, like if your life is in danger, you can pop a fight. But say someone just breaks into your house, and then you decide to hurt that person, you can't do that. It's got to be self-defence. Whereas I think in America, it's like maybe like one of the first things you're able to do is like if someone's threatening you and your home and your property then you can use lethal action if you want to there's like not much of a legal penalty as much like in in the UK like you've got to pretty much wait till they stab you before you're able to do anything <laughs> which is just stupid why the fuck am I meant to rest? Maybe in one of the tents. I meant to fuck your mate. Maybe 
Maybe there. Ah, oh, this is some sadistic. What a weird. Probably gonna go to hell for that. That was a bit weird. Yeah, there might be more stuff around here, but I guess because there's no like viewpoint, you can't really see. I might be able to see once we go up here. I'll wrap it up in a minute. Maybe go to this viewpoint and we'll stop. It's really these two question marks popped up because I was nearby. But yeah, so far what I've seen is the State of Decay 2 update. It does look kind of interesting, like the waking up play cards, the way it works. Like I don't know how it will be as a long-term player. Like it might be kind of similar to oh. Plague Territory, where it's like I'll be honest. Some days I do miss the old system of just being able to put an outpost wherever I want it to. And it is like another feature where it would be nice to be able to choose whether you want it on or not. Um, that's the downside to State of Decay is that they add these really big updates. But they don't make really a customizable feature when it could have could be. Um, like it's cool, like the feature's cool enough to like warrant it not to be, but I don't know. I feel like um, oh. like personally, it's like sometimes you don't want play territory on, or right, maybe you want to just an easy playthrough where you just want to loot and get load of good shit. You just want that loot and fix. I don't know how easy it is to hold back the infestations when you've woke up a playground. Like I've not really seen too much of it really. Um, and when people play so differently, and like, for me, usually, Whoa. when I'm, when I've took a break from State of Decay, usually when I go back to it, I'm usually rather slow paced with the game, I'm stealth a bit more, but I'll be honest, when I start fatiguing, you can see it in my let's plays where I'm running around a lot more, or I'm just kind of almost rushing through it even though I don't want to be it's like I want to play in a different way almost I don't want to be crouching around all the time sometimes you want to be aggressive but it seems like se like if you don't want to deal with infestations kicking like play carts kicking off you've kind of got to do stealth a lot more which is fine I mean, it is a kind of encouraging thing but I don't know, like, especially in Lethal, Nightmare or Lethal, um, like that's going to be interesting, but, um, I, I'm hoping it's, like, like, I've seen all videos and it looks fine, like, for an update that's been tested for probably over a year now, it is, at least they've had that time to test it and work on it, um, like, a year ago, when you saw like hundreds of infestations on the map I don't think it's going to be like that anymore which is good I, d I don't think so like like recently like infestations because it's been kind of slowly implemented into the game over a year infestations have been so erratic lately anyway maybe this will add a bit more like structure to the game where it's not as crazy. It's a bit more controlled if you want it to be. But then, like, there's a benefit, I think, in the game. Like, say you forget about the infestations or you forget about the infestations coming to attack. Apparently, there is a benefit to it because, like, you get um, prestige now, which is really good uh, when a siege does happen. Like, the only scary thing I've seen is um, infestations... Uh, 
uh, have freaks in them now. Now I'm not sure whether you have to kill everything in the infestation to get rid of the infestation. Because I think you only have to, like, when I last saw any info on it, I need to double check, but I, the last time I think, saw you only need to kill the screamers to wipe out the infestation. Because they're kind of treating the inf um like, the screamers as, like, generals now, which is kind of cool. Um, but they're, like, the guys in charge ordering their troops about, which is really kind of interesting. But, um, yeah, like, the infestations, the fact they've got, like, juggernauts, ferals. Like, I've seen people play on lethal, and they've got, like, two blood ferals, juggernauts. Now, if you have to kill every single thing in that, that's going to be expensive to do. Um, so I don't think you have to. But I think the freaks in the play, in the infestations, they drop loot now. I've seen people kill a juggernaut and they get some ammo. It's not a lot. It's not really good. I think... What, uh, I watched this one YouTuber, he killed a juggernaut and he got like 7... 7.62 which is nothing to what he actually used on the Juggernaut itself. <laughs> like, sure, you don't want to get paid for, like, paid instantly back for killing the Juggernaut, but like, it would have been nice to get better loot than seven bullets <laughs> when he used about probably 30, 40 on it. <laughs> but I suppose it kind of adds, like, it kind of gets you some of your bullets back, I guess, from the kill, but yeah. Um, did that pop up any? Maybe we do that. Finish off. Well, I guess we could do it on the way back. Is that too? So ideally, I want maybe we'll leave, maybe leave it for next episode. So I will probably do this all next episode, and then we'll head back down and try and get through this area. Hopefully next episode we'll do it, but maybe we'll see. But yeah, I think it'd be a good episode to end. Um, but yeah, it's been good coming back to Assassin's Creed. It's been a minute. Um, but yeah, it's almost like we've not left really. Um, but yeah, I know that it seems like there's going to be a bit of exploration. Which is usually the case for this game, but... Honestly, that's what I'm playing the game for, almost. Like, the story is great, but... Let's be honest, with games like this... It's so disjointing from... Like, unless you're mainly focusing on the story... But the way I'm playing it, it's like... Episodes or... Hours until I get into the next part of the story, and it's like... Where was I before? Um... But it seems like we are getting to the end stretch for the main story. There's still quite a bit for us to do in like the sense of like the free DLC missions, like the mo um, boss fights. Um, but ideally, I think I want to do them after I complete the game. Um, like maybe if I complete the main storylines, then we go back to that sort of stuff would be good. Because I could do that with, I could get some new thumbnails for them specific boss fights maybe um but yeah overall like we still probably got a little bit to do like we're on episode 55 so I reckon I reckon we might be done by episode 100 I don't think, I don't think this is going to be as bloated as um Odyssey Odyssey was like 150 or, yeah, 154 episodes long. I don't think it's going to be that long for this. Um, I'm not sure how big the DLCs are, but... Um, I'm thinking it might not be that bad. But, um, but yeah, uh, in the next episode we'll continue right where we left off. Um, but not tomorrow, but the day after we'll be back with Saints Row, though. Um, and, yeah, I'm thinking... I might ditch. I know I've only just come up with alternating between Banner Lord and Grounded. 
but I'm thinking I might leave it. I might just focus on these main Let's Plays for a bit. Well, I might just focus on Assassin's Creed and Saints Row for a bit. Just to get as much of this done. Um, because, and then if I ever feel I will go back to uh, Bannerlord or Grounded, we will do, I think. I think it would be a good thing. Um, for a little while. And then, like, if anyone really wants me to come back to Bannerlord or Grounded, we'll, I'll do it. But, um, I, even though, like, even though there is an update for Grounded, I think. Uh, they have done some new stuff with the grounded, but I'm not sure what it is. I think there was something kind of big with it with the recent update, but I think yeah, I think it was wasps. Um, they've added wasps on it finally, but um, yeah, I'm not sure. I think I might leave it. I might just focus on Assassin's Creed and State Decay for a bit for the main let's plays, and then. If there's any random let's plays there might be something up like I think as of streaming this we might be finishing off um row 96 mile zero's new game plus playthrough I think that might be tomorrow or it might have just gone um or it's coming up anyway but besides that I think yeah we're pretty much wrapping up with them too but um overall um, yeah, we'll, we'll leave it there for today and we'll continue on the next one. So as always, thanks for watching if you've been watching. And I'll see you all in the next one.